Sherry G. Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate you being here. And while you're here, please hit the like button. And keep in mind that all of the views expressed in this video are alleged. They're of my opinion and they're for entertainment purposes only. So looks like Black had a successful event last night at the Business Expo. And it also looks like this is going to be something that we see in season six. It looks like production was there filming and um, majority of the cast looks like they showed up. You think everyone was there with the exception of Kiki. And I don't think Miss Van was there. And the Fletchers. But other than that, I think... Everyone else was there. I heard that Tiffany and Lou actually showed up, although I didn't see any um, pictures of them. I didn't see any, but um, I was told that they were they were in attendance also. And I don't have a picture of Mel being there either, but I was also told that she showed up with her brother Marcus and, um, you know, they, they didn't stay very long, but she showed up in time to... Um, you know, just in, just uh, enough time so she could get out on the road because she had to go back and do her concert touring thing with um, Eric Bellinger. So anyway, Miss Wanda was there. She had a table set up and um, she was selling whatever it is she sells. I guess her spices for show, uh, show enough, Miss Wanda. And um, so... <laughs> People were really talking about um, the fact that she was there and um, that the cameras were there. And they really hope that she is not going to be filming or that we don't see her on film at all during this next season. Otherwise, they're going to boycott. Like they don't want to even see her arm. They don't want to see her arm. They don't want to see a hair or a toe. Just no signs of Miss Wanda. So I don't know. Um, she was there. She had a booth. I mean, production was there. I hope that we don't see her because, um, and, and if we do, it's just like so brief that we barely even notice that she's there because given everything that's happened with her previously on previous episodes, yeah, um, We've had enough of Wanda and all of the toxicity. So, um, majority of the fans just aren't feeling it. So anyway, um, it looks like, well, um, it looks like Maurice and Kimmy did a session, um, where they're on this couch and, um, I guess it's like a Q and a perhaps, I don't know, um, don't know what the discussion was, but I'm sure we'll hear about that. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're on the couch here in this picture and they're addressing the audience and doing some type of Q and a session. And then there are other people there. It looks like there's other vendors that are there and they have their booth set up. Here's Stormy. Stormy was there and remember, that she actually was doing a Q&A session where people could just come and just fire away, just ask her all the questions they needed to ask as it pertains to business. And I heard that she had a pretty large setup um, at the venue. And of course, Marceau and Tisha were there. Uh, Tisha actually had a booth set up where she was showing Macy and... Um, Mm, I forget her sister's name, Macy. Anyway, the two girls, uh, her daughters, she had a booth set up showing their new hair care product line. And then um, they also have some other type of line that's going to be in different flavors of bubble gum. So that'll be interesting to see because, you know, on the show, we never heard her saying anything about it. I think there was like a nail polish, but this is like 
different flavors of bubble gum. So I don't know. And I really didn't know they had a hair care line. They have beautiful hair. So um, it'll be interesting. And Martel was there. Martel was there. He has a microphone in his hand. And so um, I thought that was interesting. I was wondering what he was going to be speaking about. I guess, I mean, you know, he was in business at one time. I'm sure he remembers something, you know, about his business ventures and uh, with Mel. Um, maybe he's going to talk about, oh, I don't know. Maybe he talked about IMS Wines and that whole venture. I don't know. Um, Destiny was there and she also had a booth set up with her Madani products. Um, and so people were asking, well, is Destiny going to be filming? And I seriously doubt it. Um, I, I really seriously doubt it because I was listening to another vlogger and she was discussing the fact that she was looking on Destiny's IG page and just the little sublim subliminal messages that she sent, it alluded to the fact that she wasn't going to be filming and that she was actually invited out by Stormy and Tisha to come and join them on this um, venture. So she set up a booth. You know, it was it was open for other entrepreneurs to set a booth too. It wasn't just for the Love and Marriage Huntsville crew. And people were asking, you know, why, why was Mel there? Well, she probably had to be there because the cameras were there. And um, I'm sure Carlos and production had something to do with it, but she didn't have a booth set up. She didn't stay very long. You know, she left. So she just came and showed her face. So, um, I don't think it's really that much of a big deal, you know, that, that she was there and, um, you know, people are still on edge about the fact that they use the word comeback in their advertising comeback group. But if you look at the way the flyers set up, you know, they were called the comeback group and it's saying, this was saying a comeback and then in black letters group initiative. So yeah, just to play on words. And so I think that's how they got away with it, in my opinion. Um, and then when I saw this young lady's picture, I was, um, <laughs> I was actually taken back because I was like, oh my God, is that, is that Arion or Arion, however you say her name. And I'm like, oh man, what a striking resemblance. So I don't know. Uh, it really took me back for a minute because I actually had to stare at the picture. Then I had to pull up a picture of Arion and compare it. And I'm like, okay, so they're, they're, they look so much alike. And then someone said that allegedly this is actually her sister. So I don't know. I don't know. But I thought that was pretty interesting. It's just pretty interesting how um, similar they look. But anyway, congratulations to Mel. She was selected. Um, there was a big write-up for her in the Sheen magazine. So um, congratulations to her. This magazine is actually going to be available in Walmart, Walgreens, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and Target. So this is where she shares her story. She's being spotlighted, she shares the story about her 7th Avenue products. And congratulations goes out to Miss Van because she was selected for the Kish Magazine Top National 8 Influencers. So shout out to her. Yay, Miss Van. And so that's interesting. So we'll, we'll see what happens um, with season six as far as this particular segment, you know, are we going to see Stormy? I mean, I'm sorry. Are we going to see Destiny? I doubt it. Are we going to see Wanda? Because they were both at this event. I doubt it. I mean, it was open to vendors. So, of course, they were going to be there. And they might just 
scan through them really, really quickly, but they're not going to, I doubt if they have a big part, you know, um, in the filming, but if they do, then yeah, I guess the own network is going to have to answer to that because there are a lot of people who are just not having it at all. So anyway, that's all I have for you now. Just really short, quick, because it is my birthday and it ain't over. So I just wanted to stop in real quick and just share some pictures with you. Um, until next time, ciao. And oh, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out.